Hey guys, this is Joe with Great Lakes HB Sports. Uh, today we're going to compare two catcher's roller bags, one from Easton and one from Rollins. Both sister companies, Easton owns Rollins, but definitely different bags. Uh, we have the Easton wheeled catcher's bag, and then we have the Rollins gold uh, wheeled bag. So we're going to go over uh, dimension, pros and cons, uh, go through the features, see what we can fit in the bag, and, and see what bag we like the most. All right, first we're going to start with the Easton wheeled catcher's bag. Um, I got white, seems to be a very popular color. Um, first thing is it does have a telescopic handle. Turn it over to the back. Um, there are no shoulder straps, so this is not a backpack. Uh, it has two nice wheels on the bottom here. Uh, little stoppers for um, keep it level so when it touches the ground the bag's not touching the bottom it keeps the, the bag from getting scratched up um, there's a handle right here and there's a handle up here at the top so you can pick the bag up pretty pretty easily um, on the sides if you're a catcher you would open this up put your leg guards in here there's a zipper goes down the side um, if you're not a catcher and you're using the bag you could you know put extra bats in there if you wanted to uh, there's one of those on each side, there's a bat sleeve on each side, and then there's uh, two fence hooks here to hang it up on the fence if you'd like. Uh, you can also just tuck those in here. Uh, the dimensions on this is uh, 28 inches long, 16 inches wide, and 12 inches um, high. We'll open the top here and take a look. Um, has a removable bag for personal items, cell phone, money, hair ties, all those kinds of little things. Has another little mesh bag right behind it. Probably good to put, um, you know, batting gloves or other small items in there. Um, the pockets do have vents, so if your stuff gets wet, you know, it'll air out fairly nice. Um, inside, there's a shelf that's collapsed when you buy the bag, but you can push it open if you want to, set stuff on top if you want to separate the top from the bottom. Um, you don't have to though, uh, you can either push this back down, it is very strong Velcro, and you can leave it wide open if you want. Um, you can actually take it completely out. It velcros on all four sides, so it's very sturdy um, if you want to use the shell. Uh, you have another little zipper area here um, that's felt lined. So that's going to be for your phone, keys, things like that if you, if you wish there as well. And then the main compartment down here at the bottom. You have another mesh zip bag here. Um, you have another shelf that is removable or collapsible that um, separates the main compartment and the lower part with the shoe compartment in the bottom. So you can put that there or you can leave it up. It really depends on how you want to use the bag. If you have a lot of stuff that you want to stuff into the bag, um, you may want to take the, the shelves out completely so you could fit more in there. Um, kind of treat it like you would a duffel bag. So, um, and even if you don't use the shelf, the shoe compartment in the bottom, which has a vent in the front again, if your shoes are wet, cleats are wet, you put them in there. But the shoe, it's a separate lined bag. So even if you remove the shelf here, um, the shoes will still stay separated from everything else and not get everything dirty. Um, you also have a loop, a uh, clip loop on the outside. If you want to um, hang any items that don't fit in there, some people like to keep their gloves outside to let the um, leather dry off. Uh, some people like to hang their helmets out there. So we're going to go through if we can fit everything in here. Um, I typically don't like leaving anything outside the bag if I don't have to. 
uh, less likely for it to fall off. But we will, in a moment here, we will go through and then um, see what we can fit in this bag. All right, now we have the Rollins Gold Roller Bag. Um, this one's a little dirty. We did use it um, until my daughter's team uh, decided to buy some bags. Um, here on the top, you have a zipped area where the telescoping handle comes in and out. So um, when not in use, or if you don't plan to, to, uh, to use that, you can zip it up. It stays nice and uh, hidden. I like that feature. Um, Dimensions are 24, 25, uh, 12, and about 17. So just a hair bigger than the Easton, the Easton roller. Um, on the back, you have a handle to grab here. Um, also, a handle here at the bottom. Same thing uh, I showed you on the Easton bag, so you can pick it up like this if you like. Uh, real nice wheels on here. Again, my daughter's been using it. She loves it. Uh, this bag a lot. It's really nice, and it's held up really well. A uh, couple more stoppers to keep it flat off the ground. Um, the bottom material is a different type of canvas, so it looks like it'll hold up pretty well. Uh, right here on the top, you have a really nice felt-lined area here, probably for your, your glove is what that's meant for. Um, this pocket is also completely removable, so if you would like to get it embroidered and put the player's name, number, whatever on the top of that bag, you can. Um, go down and you have another bed section here, smaller area plus a little felt, or uh, excuse me, a uh, mesh pocket here in the front of that uh, zip area. Another grab handle, so you can grab the handle in the back and the front, pick it up if you like. Uh, you can pick it up this way if you want. So a lot of options. And then the main compartment down here, very large area, holds lots of gear, which we'll get to in a minute. No additional pockets inside that. And then the shoe compartment on the bottom is fairly large. So you could probably definitely fit a pair of cleats and a pair of turfs in there if you want to. Uh, that is vented. That's the only vented pocket on this bag is the ones for the shoes. On the sides, they have a different process for putting the leg guards in. Put the leg guards in here, buckle around them real tight. Um, these held up real well. We didn't have an issue with the leg guards coming out. Um, and then you have two individual bat sleeves on either side. So, very nice bag. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't. There's one more pocket. The um, In the back here, there's one more pocket where you could put your chest protector straight down in here or anything else that you want to keep separated um, in the back. So uh, that's a very large area. All goes all the way down to the bottom and it is separated from these pockets up here in the front. Uh, zippers are very nice quality. Uh, obviously we got white so it got a little dirty but it still looks pretty nice even when it's dirty. So uh, we're going to go over the features of this bag here in one minute. All right, now the fun part. We gotta try to fit all of this stuff into one bag. Uh, we have catcher's gear. So we have leg guards, helmet, chest protector. We have catching mitt. We have a fielding glove, a pair of cleats, two bats, her Bruce Bowl batting gloves, uh, her elbow guard, her fielding mask, and um, her, uh, her play wristband and that's a majority of the big stuff obviously they carry a bunch of small stuff uh, in their bags as well we're not too concerned with that oh and her her batting helmet so uh, can we fit both helmets 
and all this gear, two gloves, into these bags. We're going to find out right now. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Rollins Gold Bag. Uh, since we've been using this for a few months, I know how most of this is going to go in, so if we're going to start there. Uh, leg guards. Undo the clips here. And we just clip around the leg guard like so. Make sure they're nice and tight. Just like that. Uh, we have a brand new 2024 LXT. Put that side. We have our older DeMarie CF on the other side. And we'll get the other leg guard in there. This is the uh, Gentro Very Best Catcher's Gear. And a size small. This is for my 10 year old. She's a fairly small player. So, have those nice and tight on there. Go ahead and drop it down. Open up the bottom where the shoes go. She's got tiny feet. Those fit in there real fast, real easy. It's real simple there. Um, I'm not entirely sure if she put her chest protector in the back, but that's what we're going to do. We have that large area in the back here. We can slide her chest protector right down in there. Stays nice and flat, separated from everything else, not all balled up. Okay, now we have all this room to work with here. Get the rest of these items in there. Um, my older daughter is a catcher, and what she likes to do is puts a ball in her catcher's mitt, puts the catcher's mitt in her catcher's helmet, down there. Put the other glove and her batting helmet. Put that in there. Fits just fine. We have room for her face mask. Right there. And we'll zip that up. All that fit in there fairly nice. Right here in the top. We're going to take her Bruce Bowl batting gloves and the bag that those come in. Put that in there. Eye black and her elbow guard. And boom, that's everything. So we can go ahead and uh, wheel this around here. And works out real well. So my daughter's uh, very small, weighs about 62, 63 pounds. Um, she hauled this around just fine. She didn't struggle whatsoever. Uh, obviously I'd have to help her load it in the car. But, uh, good bag, fits everything. Um, that's the first time I've loaded it myself. So there's maybe ways that it, uh, it would fit even better if uh, somebody else was doing this that's done it before. So um, you play around with it. Sometimes you can find better ways to fit things in there uh, a little more efficiently, uh, but it worked well. It worked well for us. Um, you can't not put anything through the guards on the sides because it's just going to fall right through. Um, you're only going to be able to put one bat on each side, so you're limited to two bats. Mostly, most young kids, it's going to work anyway. So um, I like the bat, the bag. It's very durable, and uh, give it two thumbs up. And we'll check out the Easton bag now. All right, now we're gonna check out the uh, Easton wheeled bag and uh, see if we can get everything in there. So we'll start again with the leg guards. So now how those go in there, you unzip that. Stuff your leg guards in there. Nice and comfy. Get our LXT, put it in the back sleeve on the side. Go. 
Um, nice benefit of this bag is if you carry more than two bags, you can throw another one in the leg guard there. Plenty of room. Spin this around to the other side here. Get our other bat in there. fairly easy. Um, one thing you can do with these catcher's bags a lot of kids are doing now is they are taking their cleats and they're sticking them on their bats. They're doing this on their backpacks, rollers, all that stuff. So if you are limited on space on the inside of your bag, let's say you carry cleats and turfs and it only fit one pair of shoes, you can throw one in there and you keep the other ones on your bags. Like that if you want to. All preference, so just depends on what you like. Um, I am going to, I mentioned earlier, you can collapse these to make it one big open area. Um, I'm gonna try that first. I've not played around with this bag as much as the others. So um, I am gonna leave the shelf in the bottom there. And we're gonna start putting stuff in there. So I'm gonna put the chest guard in. First, the chest protector, excuse me. Uh, again, we're going to take our catcher's mitt, put it inside our catcher's helmet. <coughs> put that there at the bottom. Take our batting helmet, fielding glove. I have plenty of room here since I put that shelf down. Put that in there. Um, actually, yeah, I think that maybe, just maybe, <coughs> excuse my cough. I don't know why I got a cough today. I can still put that shelf up. I still have plenty of room. So that's what I'm going to do. helmet in there. Perfect. So I can still fit my face mask here if I want. Batting gloves. Um, remember, which I didn't do in the other one, the show in the other bag either, you have these other pockets. So, you know, your batting gloves you can put here. Uh, you can put back here if you want to. Um, I'm just showing that it all fits in here. <coughs> Her eye black. I'm putting this little zip pouch right here easy to find i uh, got her elbow guard in there her uh wrist play call and then that all fits in there real good and that all fits in there real good cleats Let's see if we can get the cleats in there i jammed that stuff in there pretty good but if I still adjust it, I have plenty of room in there. And it's are in there too. So there it is. Um, fits everything really well. Again, this bag, you can use uh, these areas here for two additional bats. Um, another thing we've done on bags like this is water bottles. So throw a couple water bottles, Gatorade down the leg guards, it's not gonna fall out. Um, remember this bag has the fence hooks, which the Rollins bag does not have. Um, strictly preference, not everybody hangs their bag up on the fence. Uh, some people do. Um, a lot of nice features with this bag as well. Again, it's still pretty, pretty light, easy for a young kid to manage. Rolls real nice. So, I like this bag too. Um, it is just a touch smaller. And again, um, you know, if you play it around with your, your gear, figure out what you like, uh, you may be able to fit it in there even better than what I did. So, um, kind of impressed with myself. Got it all to go in there pretty well. And the first time. So, I would also give this bag two thumbs up.
and I think it will meet your needs of, of your player. And it looks very sturdy, and I think you like it. So uh, if you have any questions at all, shoot me a message. Uh, give me a call. Um, I can answer those questions for you if you want to order. Uh, we do stock this in white, black, gray, and a uh, red, white, and blue theme. And then the Rollins Gold, we have a gray, a white, a black, and a camo, green camo military uh, colorway. So uh, thanks for checking out these bags with me, and have a blessed day. Thank you.